Hey guys, and here we are back with another storage solution for the MacBook Pro, uh, which in this particular case is the 13 inch Retina Display MacBook Pro. And as you can see there on the screen, another elegant storage solution right over here. Now, in the past, we have seen a few elegant storage solutions, but this one here has an interesting feature, which is the ability uh, to actually expand the internal storage so that we can install more apps. Now, that being said, guys, let's take a closer look at it. And as always, I'll see you in a few seconds. And here we are with the TARDISK 256 gig version on a well-designed and solid aluminium unibody that will allow us to expand our MacBook Pro 13 inch, 15 inch or MacBook Air. And regarding our usual and quick unboxing experience, there's not much that I can say. It comes well protected inside two envelopes and inside we will find the TARDISK itself, which in terms of size, it's about half our SD card. It also comes with a removal tool that looks like a guitar pick and of course some documentation. Now using the TARDISK, as you may imagine, it's pretty straightforward. All we need to do is basically insert it on the SD card slots and if we need to remove it, then there's the removable tool. Although this is a storage type that on my opinion should be permanent and having that in mind, we will lose the ability to read from the SD card slot, but there are cheap USB solutions on the market for that. And once we insert the TAR disk, it will be seen as an external storage SD card solution and can be used as such for time machine backups, photo libraries and so on. But I believe that this is not the best solution for the TAR disk. The TAR disk is meant to be used to expand our internal storage and although there's a guide for it, I found it really easy. All I did was to run the app that comes with the TAR disk and then just follow the menus and I had it running in no time. None Nonetheless, for those that get the TARDISK, I would advise to read all the guides as there are some steps, really important steps to follow, such as creating a time machine backup in case anything goes wrong or even if we need to unpair it. And once the process was finished, my MacBook had 355 gigs of available storage, which is visible as two drives, but for the system, it's only seen as one. So we can install more apps and so on. And one of my curiosities was about Bootcamp and although Tardisk have on their website that they do not support it, I did give it a shot and with no surprises, did not work. I could get to the installation screen, but that was about it. And in terms of speed, the TARDISK gets about 75 megabytes on writes and 83 megabytes on reads. And when used on the pairing mode, we will get speeds between the ones on the TARDISK and of the pure SSD, acting similar to a fusion drive with a read and write buffer on the SSD. And what I can say is that in real life situations, I cannot see any difference in the performance, which was a nice experience. And before we move on to the conclusion, my opinion is that if you are looking for a storage solution to keep your data, photo libraries and so on, there are cheaper solutions on the market such as the Transcend Jet Drive. On the other hand, if you are looking for a solution that will allow us to have more available space to install apps, then the TARDISK is the way to go. So in conclusion guys, things that I did like the most were the build quality and design of the TARDISK, an easy to use software, an elegant solution to expand our storage and finally some really nice speeds. On the other hand, things that I did like the least unfortunately does not support bootcamp and the price per gigabyte on the 256 gig version is way higher than the 128 gig version. And that is it. We have reached the end of another review. This time, the storage solution TARDISK. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.